too, because it wasn't in fucking stereo. That's probably why it looks so big in the damn thing to me. Let's see. AMD's RX 460 can be unlocked to gain 128 GPU cores. The 460 can be unlocked to gain 128 extra GPU cores, giving the GPU a 12.5% performance boost. These additional GPU cores can be unlocked using the GPU firmware BIOS update, allowing gamers to unlock 8 additional TMUs and 128 stream processors for free. Like all GPU BIOS updates and major firmware changes, this update places your GPU at risk, with the BIOS flashing having the potential to damage your GPU and without any guarantee that your GPU's locked hardware will function properly. AMD locked down the RX 460 for a reason, with most RX 460 GPUs either having non-functional GPU cores or due to other reasons like poor consumption or low yields. At this time, the BIOS update has only been created for the ASUS RX 460 Strix 4GB edition and Sapphire's RX 460 Nitro 4GB edition. Though it is likely that more GPU updates will be available for future and additional GPU SKUs. At first glance, I assume that this is just like some sort of uh, driver up there or something that you could just pop on and boom they let you get some stream processors and you got 12.5 percent for free which i thought was awesome but like this thing has stated you have to flash your your gpu uh, gpu and bios flashing and changing tweaking this is all kind of more advanced uh computer sort of stuff uh if you're not an advanced overclocker if you're not um soldering off your PCB to get more voltage to your graphics card by fooling it into thinking it's not getting enough voltage then this is probably not something you want to do though on the other hand I want to say that this is actually very cool of AMD to you know let this sort of stuff happen because Nvidia damn sure isn't doing it and also like this has said it, it's the 460s are locked down for a reason uh, one of the reasons was you know power consumption or low yields low yields I think is a term for uh, GPUs let's say like a 480 they made a 480 and it was a little bit shitty you know it couldn't perform as well as it should or there's something wrong in the manufacturing of the GPU then they drop it down to can it run a 470 level spec can it run a 460 that could possibly be what they meant by that I'm not 100% sure I know Nvidia if they do a GPU and it's a little too shitty they just like throw them in a box and say to hell with it and then when people do tours they just give you like the GPU you know the little chip for free they're like here you go faggot here's a fucking shitty ass chip go use it as a fucking doorstop and if it worked just know that that'd be a thousand dollars in your hands but really it doesn't matter to us now it's free you pick your teeth with it Oh well, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Feel free to leave, you know, what you think in the comment sections about this. Like, personally, I think it's cool. Maybe you don't. I, I, I don't think anybody can look at this and go, this isn't kind of cool. And it's cool that AMD would allow this to happen. Give you the shot to get a little extra juice out of your card. But it is kind of shitty. They're like, yeah, if you do it, you're fucked. I'm not quite sure if, like, uh, they'll honor the warranty. I doubt it, though, with flashing the BIOS on your graphics card. But I could be wrong.